Hello, welcome back to Sailing Madness. It's a bit early in the morning, but I came over to the boat yesterday, slept on the boat last night, because I've got my family coming for a sail today. What is the time? Oh, it's, uh, not sure if you can see that. Half past six in the morning. On the 12th of February, 2023. So yeah, family coming over for a sail today. I've got my sister coming over with her husband and their little boy. But then on top of that, I've also got my mum and dad coming over for a sail. And they're both in their 80s. What could possibly go wrong? So, looking forward to it, but also nervous at the same time. So I think what I'm going to do is get up early, get the boat ready for when they arrive. They're not due for another couple of hours yet, so there's no rush. But first things first, let's have a nice early morning cup of tea. Oh, maybe I'll just have five more minutes in bed. Oh. Okay, so that extra five minutes in bed turned into an extra 45 minutes in bed. <laughs> so the weather today well, it's going to be, I think it's going to be quite sunny today, actually. I'm looking out now, it's just getting light outside, a little bit overcast at the moment. Winds are going to be about five knots, according to Predict Wind, out on the Menai Strait, which is fine. If you watched the last episode, when I took my friend Anton sailing, we had virtually no wind uh, for the time that we were out there. So five knots is just about, it's going to be nice and gentle. And that's exactly what I want for my family coming over for their first ever sail. Particularly my parents, they're both in their 80s. The last thing I want to be doing is taking them out in anything much stronger than that really for their first ever sale. So yeah, looking forward to it. Let's put that kettle on, let's have a cup of tea and let's start the day with a proper sailor's breakfast as well, I think. Now that's how you start the day. Okay, so this is going to be messy. You don't really want to watch me eat this. <laughs> it won't be a pretty sight. You can't beat the first cup of tea in the morning though, can you? Oh. Okay, so it looks like the rabble are here. Find my friends is a wonderful thing. <laughs> Shall I go down first and you pass me yes. down? Oh, the time looks really low. It is. Does it? What yeah. time do we have to wait? 12 o'clock we can go up. He's going down first. You are. My biggest worry was getting my parents down the harbour wall steps. The water level in the dock is very low at present, so it's a larger than usual drop down to the boat. My mum has had both of her hips replaced in recent years, so I was particularly worried about her climbing down the ladder. Yeah, go on, keep coming down. There's quite a few steps yet. Keep going. Keep holding on. Keep going. Keep going. Right, there's another step. One more step. Let's get me arms down. That's it. Right, one more step and then... No, you can't do it, it's too push. low. You've Can got you to go right the way down now. Go on. Let's, let's get down to that one. Yeah, go on, that's it. That's it. Your legs are not long enough. Yeah. <laughs> Get your leg over. Is that right? Oh, I'm on it. You're on. <laughs> right, you go, go to the cockpit then. And with everyone safely on board, it was time for a cup of tea and a safety briefing before letting the lines go and heading out to the Menai Strait. Port de Norton Marina, this is Kudos. Sorry, I was uh, on the helm just then. Uh, I missed your call, sorry, did you want me? Oh, that's okay, you can uh, proceed on through. Thank you very much, we're just coming up to the bridge now. Did you steer the opposite way to where you want to go? No. 
you do with it if you've got a tiller. Once we're out of the dock, everyone was eager to take it in turns at the helm. Got the family out for a sail. Another lovely day on the Menai Strait. The sun came out for us. Everybody having a good time? Yeah! So far, no disasters. Now, if you're not familiar with the area, the Menai Strait is a narrow stretch of shallow tidal water. It's 16 miles long and separates the island of Anglesey from the mainland of Wales. And the name Menai comes from a Welsh word for narrow water. The differential tides at the two ends of the strait cause very strong currents to flow in both directions through the strait at different times. This can cause dangerous conditions. Now, one of the most dangerous areas of the strait is known as the Swellies. This is situated between the Britannia Bridge and Thomas Telford's Menai Suspension Bridge. In the Swellies, rocks near the surface cause overfalls, so you can only transit through at slack water. It's for this reason we are keeping well back from the Britannia Bridge you can see ahead of us. I guess we're uh, going into wind now. See all right. Yeah. Sticking to the trees. No, this really. way, this way, mate. This way. Mate. Mum, never mind about posing <laughs> for photos. Look where yeah. you're going. Look where you're going. Oh. <laughs> um. Straight in it now. What's the depth, Mum? Eighteen. That was all fine. Straight in it now. <laughs> yeah, that will do. So how old are you, Mum? How old are you? What? How old are you? <laughs> Why? I'm not telling you. 80 what? Three. 88, oh. aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> Gone here. There's just... that aeroplane. Never mind, yeah. just look where you're going. <laughs> you're wondering. Oh, then are you watching my... If you look behind, you can see where we've been. Look at the... Um, the what well, does the white mean? The white? Yes. The white's the deep bit. Oh. Uh, <laughs> you can soon go off course. You, you can if you're not looking where you're going. Yeah. yeah. No, it's a bit like when you're driving. You need to look where you're going. <laughs> yeah, but I thought you said keep this. you got to do both. Look where you're going in particular. Do you haven't got fat legs? Try and get in the white. Did you enjoy that? <laughs> yeah. You didn't sink? Pardon? You so, didn't sink, so it's a good thing. Yeah. Right, hang on, go that way. You need to go this way. Why am I going that way? Because, look, you're going to... You keep on going. Nature spotters. Where? Oh! There's a corner in. Oh, yeah. So, right, what, what, do we, what have we got? Have, what's the wind and what's our speed? Uh, the wind... Uh, uh, 4.4 4.4 4 knots of wind and we're doing 1.9 knots and we're doing 1.9 knots but it's okay because we're having lunch mother's bought a packed lunch
Keep pulling, Morgan. Keep going. Right, now. right so you let go of that. Right, grab one of those winch handles. You can turn that handle any way, but the winch will only go the one way. Someone say something for the video. <laughs> <laughs> like what? We haven't got a script though. Don't do it. We didn't have any seasickness pills today. You don't need it. It's like a pondo. Mmm. Been real. Where'd you want me to go? I'd start turning round now if I were you. I reckon now's a good time. Are you turning round? Yeah. Oh, that moves. Oh. Bloody hell. Oh, hell. <laughs> Justin turned a little bit too quick and my dad ended up with tea all over him. Yeah, four bloody cups of it. <laughs> oh, was it all of them? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so have you enjoyed it, Alan? Yeah. <laughs> what, was, what was the best bit? Going home. I like the cup of tea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We could have had this there, steering Morgan. problem and that happened yeah. and have to be rescued. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that poor, poor man, he weed himself, he was yeah. home. <laughs> <laughs> and do you know what? It was his wife, yeah. Pressy Auto Pilot. <laughs> So we did have a problem before, didn't catch it on video, but my mum pressed the autopilot and then we couldn't work out why the steering had locked. Had a bit of a panic moment. So it's all, it's all been Justin with the steering problems. So we learned two lessons here today, didn't we? Yeah, don't bring your mum and dad sailing. No. <laughs> Justin, bring Justin down. I, did, yeah. I was sitting here in, in, innocently. <laughs> I'll, I'll have you know, don't bring your mum and dad. It was him. All <laughs> <laughs> the people in the marina How's your wet trousers? Wet. <laughs> Your underpants are going to have tea stains all over me. <laughs> yeah, it looked like I've done something else, wouldn't it? It might have got rid of me rash. <laughs> And after a couple of hours of mostly motoring on the Menai Strait, and of course my dad getting tea stained underpants, it was time to head back to the marina for another cup of tea.
No, I don't know how much room you had the other side. Right, well, the family have just gone and I'll be going soon once I've done a couple of tidy up jobs. And I think everybody had a great time out on the boat. Now, I would say everybody had a great time sailing. But as you've seen, once again on the Menai Strait, there was very little, if not any, wind. So we didn't get an awful lot of sailing done. Now, I was quite frustrated by that at the time, but thinking about it, it was probably a good thing. Because with six of us in the cockpit, if we were tacking and jibing up and down the Menai Strait, with that many people up there, we'd have been getting in each other's way and I don't think it would have been as enjoyable uh, for everybody. So maybe next time when they come on the boat, there might be a bit more wind and we might get a bit more sailing done. And that just about does it for Dave for today. Thank you so much for your company. Before I do go though, one quick mention to Peter Newton and Will Lowe, my first two Patreons. Peter and Will, thank you very much. Welcome aboard. Thank you so much for your contribution. Now, of course, you don't have to contribute financially to support this channel. If you have enjoyed this video, then please hit that thumb and give me a like. And of course, if you've not done so already, please consider subscribing. You can do both of those for free. Until next time, take care of yourselves. See you soon. Bye bye.